The Rangers call out their Zeo Zords. No, not their Zeo Zords. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the seventh episode of the show, Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 212th episode overall titled Built for Speed. We begin this episode by watching some dude put a coin in a jukebox, playing a record, and we're in the youth center seeing a 50s style dance. Some guy ignores some girl, so she dances with some other dude. Then the two guys start fighting over the girl, but then Adam's in 50s attire showing up, and now everyone's fighting. This will make a little bit more sense in a second, but like, not really. The fight keeps going and Adam is beating the guys until he gets hit down. Tanya turns off the music that's playing and she calls cut essentially. She explains the scene to the actors saying how the one team is supposed to lose. The actors are mad that certain people always get to win and Tanya tells everyone to just chill. Apparently this is getting put on by the radio station and she wants a good show. The actors agree and then she says that she'll see them tomorrow. Underwater, Divatox is happy to see people arguing. Rygog says that they need to take advantage of this and Porto introduces a tiny little bomb then Elgar does his new breaking the fourth wall shtick, selling the bomb to people via the TV screen for 1995. I feel like I should hate him, but like I can't. Elgar suggests someone fast for this, and Porto introduces Demon Racer, who runs around the place causing smoke to come up. Then Deep Talk says that he's just like the rest of the men in her life. Is she insinuating that she only has sex with guys who can't last long, or am I reading way too much into this? Outside the youth center, these stunt actors I'm supposed to care about come out complaining about how they want to win the stunt show, but they have to meet with the others and then they argue. They plan to do a drag race at Angel's Bluff, and they'll go toward the cliff, and whoever turns first loses. Adam comes up, and he's about to speak up, and one of the guys tells him to stay out of it. Surprisingly, Adam says, no, I'm not staying out of this. Then he explains that drag racing is illegal and very dangerous, to the point he even says that they could get killed. Like, I'm shocked they didn't tell him that drag races could end with them getting destroyed. The stunt actors agree that they won't do a drag race, but as soon as Adam leaves in Tanya's car, they agree that they're actually just going to ignore him, and they're going to go do the race anyways. Well, at least he tried. Let them die. Demon Racer sees them getting ready, excited. Meanwhile, more stunt actors are meeting in the youth center talking about the drag race. Behind the counter, Monkey, Bulk, and Skull hear about this, and long story short, they think that there's going to be trouble, so the Power Rangers will show up, so you actually better get to this drag race. He does a nice callback here, while Skull remembers that they spent an entire year trying to figure out who the Power Rangers were. The monkeys leave, walking by Adam and Tanya, who just let these two monkeys walk out of the building. They walk up to some kid talking about how good the poster is looking, but then their communicators go off. In the power chamber, Tommy and Justin are trying to get in contact with Adam, Tanya, and Kat. Kat's busy, guys. The three show up, and Tommy explains that they were charging the turbo navigators, and then they got a signal of a new detonator. Before they leave, Demetria explains that they should watch out for something more monster -y with a bomb, so they leave, deciding to hit it from all sides. What? It's a bomb, and you have directions to it. Demon Racer runs around the youth center parking lot with the bomb, and luckily Adam is nearby seeing what's going on. Feeling like they could have stuck together, whatever, shifting the turbo. Adam pursues Demon Racer in his cart, and Demon Racer is driving a car. Couldn't he just run fast before? Then Adam and the monster literally drag race. Dude, you just got done poo-pooing all this. This is really boring, so basically they race, hitting each other, and coming toward Japanese roadblocks. Adam goes fast, going through the roadblocks, but Demon Racer turns, blowing up. He then comes out of the place, falling to the ground, explaining that they'll never find the detonator now, and Adam says that basically it's fine. Demon Racer falls, exploding. Let's just also point out that Demon Racer's chest this entire time says Speed King. Underwater, Elgar finds a giant eyeball in a window, looking in. What kind of lake are they in? Demotox is mad that Demon Racer is dead, but Porto says that he made a spare, just in case. Well, that's convenient. Detox demands that he gets sent out immediately. Justin and Tanya are walking around with the turbo navigator looking for the detonator. Then we see Tommy is by himself walking around. Seriously, is Cat Lake taking another smoke break? The hell? Tommy gets beat by Alpha who explains that Demon Racer is back and they need to handle this. Shift in the turbo! All the Rangers without Adam then find Demon Racer running down Japanese people with a car. Well, they save the people and then they challenge Demon Racer who just drives after them, firing lasers at them. In the youth center parking lot, the stunt actors are getting their cars ready to go, I guess. I don't know, they keep looking at their engines. Bulk and Skull come out, each getting into a car so they can tell the Power Rangers to make them humans again. Why do they keep assuming that the Power Rangers can do anything about this? In the power chamber, Alpha is watching the four Rangers lose terribly on the viewing globe. He talks to Adam, who says that he has a faint reading on the detonator, but he can't find it. Then one of the cars from the drag race drives by, and Adam immediately realizes that the detonator is actually inside of that car. Deutox commands for the torpedoes to be fired, and they hit Demon Racer, making him giant. He then fires at the rangers on the ground a few times, but then he just turns around to find Adam posing up a storm. He gets into his little go-kart, making Demon Racer chase him while the other rangers... Leave, I guess. Demon Racer keeps firing at Adam, who does a U-turn, coming back, and then he tries to step on Adam, who fires a missile at him, hitting him. Was that the entire battle? I mean, what just happened? 
At Angel's Bluff, the rules of the drag race are reiterated as these douchebags are getting ready to kill themselves. Please, just like, let them die already. They get in their cars as the crowd claps. We're also reminded that the monkeys are there. Thank God, Demon Racer actually isn't dead. The Rangers call out their Turbo Zords, forming the Turbo Megazord. They start getting hit by Demon Razor and his horn a lot, but then they take out their shield to defend themselves. Then Adam steps on his foot to get rid of him, and then they do a flying kick to his face before they just pull out the Turbo Megazord Saber. Doing their spin out attack, killing Demon Racer. R.I.P. Speed King. Alpha tells the Rangers to handle that missing detonator. Demetria gives them a clue about where the bomb is, and the Rangers know it's Angel's Bluff. Speaking of which, at Angel's Bluff, the drag race starts with a girl using a handkerchief to tell them to go and we see that a pair of fuzzy dye are actually the bomb. <sighs> what the hell, this is not what it looked like before. They're getting closer to the edge and both cars just fly off the edge of the cliff and the monkeys are in the back screaming. What the fuck, no one turned? The cars stop mid-air because they're caught by the Turbo Megazord and Adam teleports down into one of the cars and he totally ignores that there's a monkey in there. He finds the bomb, tossing it out, letting it explode in the air. Adam gets out of the car, telling them to never do this again because the Power Rangers will not be around to catch them next time. Leaving. Underwater, Rygog, Porto, and Elgar are hanging out together in a makeshift sauna, ignoring Divatox who is knocking on the door. Pissed that the plan didn't work. I kinda love these villains a little bit. At Angel's Bluff, the crowd, Tanya and Adam come up, and the two stunt performers make up right away, talking about how they need to work together. I'm shocked Tanya hasn't lost her shit yet. Stone shows up and he finds that the monkeys are there, and he says if he didn't know any better, he'd swear but then he's cut off because the monkey stole his car, reversing. He literally says, not again. The end. This episode's like, supposed to be an Adam focused episode, but it's not at all. It's about two douchebags who want to drive off a cliff to prove who has a bigger dick. Demon Racer is a cool design for a monster, but its footage is pretty lackluster. Also, where the hell was Kat? Toward the end, she was 80 yard into the crowd at Angel Bluff to sound like she was there, but the actress was never seen. Like, was she sick or something? I don't know. Just weird how often this show has gone without more than half of its principal cast in most of these episodes so far. So how will the next episode fare? Especially since it's predominantly a Justin episode. Again. Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.